Hello and welcome to Latest in Defence. This month we have commemorated the 100th anniversary of the start of World War I, one of the bloodiest conflicts in history. It also brought about an unprecedented evolution in military technology. The conflict saw the first tanks, chemical weapons, aerial dogfights and submarines, among others. We can only hope no future conflict matches its scale and brutality. But military innovation still continues apace. Here are some striking recent inventions. The zoom function on rifle scopes is vital for soldiers, and especially snipers, to get a close-up view. Current optical zoom magnification works by adjusting the positions of lenses along the optical axis. It can require the shooter to change grip on the weapon and risk losing sight of the target. Sandy National Laboratories has come up with a solution called Rapid Adaptive Zoom for assault rifles, or Razor. The battery-powered zoom changes the focal length of lenses by varying the curvature of their surfaces, much like happens in the human eye. This enables the shooter to view a wide-angle image or zoom in on an area of interest. It could also be used in medical imaging, binoculars and mobile phone cameras. Nuclear submarines are awash with new technologies, but many navies are committed to only buying conventional submarines. French shipbuilder DCNS has unveiled the SMX Océan, a concept diesel electric attack submarine that includes capabilities usually only found in the latest nuclear powered submarines. DCNS developed a high performance air independent propulsion system using second generation fuel cells that let it cruise submerged for up to three weeks. It would carry what DCNS dubs 4D firepower. That means it includes torpedoes, mines, anti ship missiles, cruise missiles, and anti air missiles. Unlike other conventional subs, it could deploy special forces, combat swimmers, unmanned underwater vehicles and even unmanned aerial vehicles. Whether SMX OCR makes the transition from concepts to deployment remains to be seen, but the technology could help future conventional submarines rival nuclear submarines. It's the demonstration every Navy that's purchased the F-35C has been holding its breath for. Earlier this month, the US Navy Joint Strike Fighter successfully completed its first ever landing on an aircraft carrier. Two of the aircraft landed on the carrier USS Nimitz off the coast of San Diego as part of the initial at-sea testing phase. The C variant of the F-35 is specially designed for aircraft carrier operations. They have larger wings, folding wing tips, upgraded landing gear and a greater fuel capacity. Lockheed Martin was forced to redesign the tail hook last year after testing found it couldn't catch the wires properly. But you can see the redeveloped version in action here. The F-35C is due to enter service with the US Navy in 2018, opening a new era of aircraft carrier operations. While the pace of modern military innovation seems to be breathtaking, it will never match the step changes that World War I introduced. Hopefully there will never again be another conflict on the same scale as the one that drove them. Music